Russian lawmakers on Thursday ratified a pact with North Korea envisioning mutual military assistance, a move that comes as the U.S. confirmed the deployment of 3,000 North Korean troops to Russia. The lower house of the Russian parliament, the State Duma, voted quickly to endorse the Comprehensive Strategic Partnership Treaty that Russia's President Vladimir Putin signed with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un on a visit to Pyongyang in June. The upper house is expected to follow suit soon. The pact obliges Russia and North Korea to immediately provide military assistance using all means if either is attacked. It marked the strongest link between Moscow and Pyongyang since the end of the Cold War. The U.S. said Wednesday that 3,000 North Korean troops have been deployed to Russia and are training at several locations, calling the move very serious and warning that those forces will be fair game if they go into combat in Ukraine. At the same plenary session, the State Duma also passed a draft budget proposed by the government. It earmarked 32.5% of its spending next year for defense, a record amount and up from a reported 28.3% this year as Moscow seeks to prevail in its military campaign in Ukraine. The budget proposes spending just under 13.5 trillion rubles, over $145 billion, on national defense. That is about 3 trillion rubles more than was set aside for defense this year and was the previous record. The fighting in Ukraine is Europe's biggest conflict since World War II and has drained the resources of both sides, with Ukraine getting billions of dollars in help from its Western allies. Russian President Vladimir Putin is also looking how to sustain his military effort as spending has placed a huge strain on the Russian economy. Проект федерального закона о ратификации договора о всеобъемлющем стратегическом партнерстве между Российской Федерацией и Корейской Народно-Демократической Республикой. Пожалуйста, включите режим голосования. Кто за? Покажите результат голосования. За 397, против нет, воздержавшись нет. Федеральный закон принят единогласно. Поздравляем. Мы с учетом тех потребностей Министерства обороны и других силовых ведомств, которые участвуют в специальной военной операции, составили военный бюджет. В первоочередном порядке деньги на это учтены. Рассматривали вопросы на закрытых статьях, объемы увеличены по сравнению с уровнем текущего года. Это первоочередная наша, наша задача. Здесь и э, непосредственно закупка вооружений военной техники, денежное довольствие военнослужащих, обеспечение, как мы говорили, социальной поддержки семей военнослужащих, модернизация предприятий оборонно-промышленного комплекса. Если у вас только проценты по долгам, будет три с лишним триллиона. Понимая, что главные позиции – это государственное управление, государственная безопасность, и государственная оборона. Мы максимально поддержим эту линию, но в целом считаем, социально-экономическая политика должна в конце концов вылезти из этой Ельцинско-Гайдаровской вороватой разрушительной клеи, которую протоптали. Мы воздержимся при голосовании. На голосование третьего законопроект в первом чтении принят. Туда, от этого ничего больше не прибавит. Можно прикрываться. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan arrived in the Russian city of Kazan on Wednesday to take part in the BRICS summit. Erdogan is also expected to hold bilateral talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The BRICS alliance, which aims to counterbalance the Western-led world order, initially included Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa but is expanding rapidly. Iran, Egypt, Ethiopia. The United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia joined in January, Turkey, Azerbaijan and Malaysia formally applied, and a number of others expressed a desire to be members. Turkey applied to join the BRICS group at a time when the NATO member and European Union candidate is increasingly frustrated with the West. Turkey's EU membership talks have stalled since 2016 due to disputes with Cyprus and concerns over human rights. 
Turkey's relations with Washington have been strained over its removal from the F-35 fighter jet program after procuring a Russian missile defense system. Erdogan also has accused the U.S. and other Western allies of alleged complicity in Israel's military actions in Gaza.